Okay, as I, as I mentioned to you, we are going to, go for, going to forego our normal Q&A session. We are going to ask that, you know, the, uh, the speakers take some of these questions, produce videos on them, and, uh, and you'll be able to tune in on those. We will interact with each other uh, on the questions that we answer and what have you. Uh, certainly, I would be absolutely remiss if I did not, as usual, all right, uh, give honor to whom honor is due. I know that you know this already. All right, I know that you know this, but putting on a seminar like this is not an easy task. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to someone. I said, you know, <clears throat> I said, Jan and I literally start planning for the next year's seminar about a day or two after we finish this one. We start talking about what, what are we going to, what's, what's going to be our theme? Who are we going to get for visitors, uh, for speakers? And it rocks along there, and, and we do really well for several months, several months, and we think we've got things pretty well in hand, and overall we really do. She is a fantastically organized person when it comes to this. And then about two weeks before the conference takes place, about a gazillion logistical details pop up, and I'm running around like, a, like the proverbial chicken with its head cut off, going, I thought we had this in hand, but I tell you, it's, it's a massive job, and we have some people <clears throat> who come in early for the last several years who help us out to make sure that you have a seminar that is well-oiled, well-greased, and there's Rod and Connie Rupert right there. <clears throat> You know, uh, Jan basically just turns the food table over to them. Uh, Rod takes care of the ice and all of that kind of stuff. Look, we don't have to worry about anything. I mean, literally, we don't have to worry about anything. And that's exactly the way it is with Jim and Sharon back there at the book table. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> they, they take care of that book table. And if you've been buying books, you know how efficient Sharon is doing that and Jim taking care of anything else that needs to be done there. Um, and of course, uh, <clears throat> Martha, who was here yesterday, she couldn't be here today, but she's kind of a, a do all, you know, just tell me something to do and I'll do it type of, type of individual. And I know that several of you kind of pitch in from time to time and, and you contribute to that as well. And we appreciate that. And I have to tell you, I was, I've, I've told several of you this. Jim, just, uh, I'm getting to Tom. Thank you, but thank you for the reminder. Uh, <clears throat> my wife and I are, I, I, it, it's a brag. I, I make no excuses for it, it's a brag. We are a fantastic team. We really are. And I, I have to tell you, but I can't tell you because words would fail me to tell you how much Jan and I appreciate your gesture yesterday. Um, I, I won't go into any details, but that was the entirety of our fifth, 50th wedding anniversary celebration. You gave it to us. No one else did. So that means an awful lot to us. It's, uh, it, it, <clears throat> it really, really touches our heart. And as I said, she and I are, are a genuine partnership. She takes care of all the food, the details, the catering, planning, all that kind of stuff. I never give it a thought. I take care of the speakers, their travel, their accommodations. She never gives that a thought, except to perhaps remind me and say, did you do it? And so we, we just work together <clears throat> as an absolutely marvelous team. Uh, I told somebody just recently, here in town, we were actually talking about celebrating long time wedding anniversaries. And there were several people listening to the conversation. And this was at a business establishment. And I said, I said, let me tell you something. I said, I could not have found a more perfect wife had the Lord handed me a checklist and said, Check it off, just let me know what you want, and I'll give it to you. That's her. 
<laughs> and I know I'm also perfect. You understand that, right? <laughs> no, no, she's very patient with me. Now, I saved Tom to the last. He's been almost invisible. But he's been right there. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, Chad Kenno did all of this last year. And boy, did a marvelous job. But he had informed me that he couldn't be here this year, and I was literally in a state of panic. I, I had no idea who I was going to get. And I, I put an announcement on Facebook, didn't I? And I said, I need help. And somebody almost immediately, I did not know of Tom Mills' technical expertise. I, I didn't. I knew that he liked computers and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't know of his expertise. And somebody said, you got to contact Tom Mills. He can take care of everything for you. And I said, cool. I contacted Tom and I said, would you be interested? And he was just glad to do that. And I, I don't have to tell the people who've been watching on YouTube how seamlessly and how well that has been done. And again, I, I just cannot express enough my appreciation to you, Tom, for the fantastic job that you have done. And, and also, you know, Tom is just one of those exceptional people, not just technologically. But I don't know if you noticed when he came in, his family was with him and they fill up the entire back table. He brings his tribe with him everywhere he goes, right? <laughs> and this is just, are you the oldest son? Okay. Uh, they homeschool. They are just exceptional people all the way around. They are the kind of people that it's an honor and a privilege to know. And we just love and appreciate him for that. Now I want all the speakers to stand and I want us all to give them a, a little bit of our appreciation. William, I'm sorry. Oh, Garrett, I, I'm, I'm including Garrett, absolutely. Garrett, stand up. Daniel, Kyle, where, where are the rest of my speakers? Oh, yeah, there, I didn't see you, Rod. <laughs> There's Michael. Do what? Oh yeah, speakers come up here for pictures. Now, while they're coming up, I want to remind you that we have food on the table over here. Uh, we have snacks. Avail yourself of that. Take as much of that as you want. There are, there are lots of donuts left. Take them all. Uh, if you don't want to take them all, they'll go to the emergency room of the hospital and we'll give, give them to the nurses there. Um, I'll, go, I'll come down here and join the speakers uh, here momentarily. Uh, Jan, am I forgetting anything? Mark Chesson, huh? Mark Chesson and, uh, Mark Chesson, Kyle. Oh yes, Mark Chesson, uh, Taylor, and that, that bunch that did the music. Yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry. Yes. Jim? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, if, you want to, if you want to buy any books, I, I had brought some uh, further supply for the table back there. If you haven't found yet what you had wanted, uh, I think it, it, they all should all be back there now, and they want to pack up. We do have to get out of here pretty quickly, all right? And I would ask you also, keep in mind that some of our speakers are on a relatively short leash for getting back to the airport and traffic between here and there is terrible. Yes. I, I didn't hear that. Okay, if you wish to make a donation, okay, uh, to help us out with all of our expenses, uh, look, look at that group of speakers, okay? Our ministry pays for air flight, accommodations, and what have you for each one of those men. Now we tell them they can only have bread and water while they're here, you understand, but, but, <laughs> but that's part of the expense that we incur. But again, it's what we want to do for you. Anything that you can help with uh, to support this ministry is appreciated. We've already received some contributions and look folks, we appreciate that. We've been contacted already by some who say they're going to send us a check that's tremendously appreciated. You need to know something. I've said this over and over, but you need to know this. 
we do not do this to make money. And we never make money. We haven't so far at for, for any seminar that we have sponsored here. Our view of it is, as long as we can break even, continue to bring this to you, we're going to do that. As long as our health holds and we can do it, we're going to do that. Okay? I'll get over there and whoever wanted to take pictures.